Hey guys, welcome back to a Tuesday show. Really hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys five tips that I use whenever I'm trying to learn a new programming language. So for all of you guys that are just starting out as new iOS developers, I think you'll find this short list very useful. Okay, so my very first tip is to pick a very, very narrow focus. For example, if you're trying to build an application that is similar to, let's say, Snapchat, you have to do a lot of different things. For example, uh, you need to learn how to use the camera, you need to send these images to some kind of server, and then you need to pull down those images and render it down on a list. So my tip is to just pick one of these tasks, let's say, learn how to use the camera really, really well, and at the same time, just ignore all of these other features. Um, what I find is that oftentimes, if a task is really, really overwhelming, uh, you'll often find that it's really easy to give up when you run into any type of issue. So the second tip that I have for you guys is, if you have a bunch of different tasks to build, always choose the easier one. Now this is also known as the low hanging fruit. For example, if you're trying to build an iPhone application that shoots video, you probably need to learn how to use it to shoot photos first. Now it turns out it's much easier to shoot photos than it is to shoot video. So my point here is to always choose the easier task first and then move on to the more difficult task later on. All right, so the third tip that I have for you guys is to find a very good Swift resource and just stick with it. Um, what's also really helpful is to find a good mentor. I think what you'll notice is that sometimes a good mentor uh, is really, really useful to get the ball rolling. Now I'm trying to provide some mentorship and some inspiration on this channel, but if you guys can find someone in real life that you can go to for advice, I think it's going to be extremely helpful for you guys as an iOS developer. All right, so the fourth thing I wanna mention is to do more and read less. Now you can read a lot of information online, but don't neglect the fact that you still need to go through the exercise of sitting down and coding. Now what you'll find is that when you sit down and start typing out the code, it really allows the brain to absorb this new language as if it was your mother tongue. Okay, so the last thing I wanna mention is to code often and to throw away the code just as often. Uh, in my experience, I think the first five years of my programming career, uh, the code that I wrote was not all that great. Uh, I think it was pretty bad actually. And the sooner you accept that fact, the better off you're going to be. Now, the reason for this is because I think the brain is sort of like a muscle and you really have to exercise this muscle. And the, the way to get better at becoming a programmer is to consistently solve different problems with different bits of code. Okay, so those are the five very useful things that I wanted to share with you guys today. If you have any useful tips that you want to share, please leave them down in the comments section below. Um, that's going to be it for today, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.